In this video, we're going to look at writing static automation. There are several ways to write static automation in Pro Tools. The first is trimming automation playlists. With my track in waveform view, I'll go ahead and select a clip. Then I'll toggle over to the volume view. You can do this using the track view selector, but if you have commands keyboard focus enabled, you can simply press the minus key on your keyboard. Then if I position the cursor in the upper third of the clip, I can click and drag to trim the volume setting for the entire clip. And I even get a small display in the upper left corner of the clip that shows me the current volume setting and the delta or difference between the current setting and the previous setting. I can trim with a finer resolution by initiating the trim, then holding down the command key on the Mac or the control key on Windows. Another way to write static automation is to use the write to current command. Before we use Write to Current, we'll want to open the Automation window. You can open the Automation window by going to the Window menu and choosing Automation. Then the Automation window will appear. You'll need to make sure that the Volume button is lit red to show that it's enabled. Next, we'll adjust the volume level. You could use the Channel Fader in the Mix window, but it's generally easier to use the Tracks Output window. That way you can easily change the volume while remaining in the Edit window. I can open the output window by clicking the output window icon next to the tracks assigned output. Then the output window will appear, giving me a movable channel strip that I can position conveniently inside the edit window. Now I can adjust the volume for the clip, and then use the write to current command to write that value into the clip's volume automation. I can do this by going to the edit menu and choosing automation, write to current, or better yet, I can use command forward slash on the Mac or control forward slash on Windows. It's important to note that only the currently visible playlist will be modified when using the Write to Current command, and none of the other playlists will be affected. The final way that we can write static automation for a clip really isn't automation at all. It's a new feature released in Pro Tools 10, which is called Clip Gain. You can display the Clip Gain information for the track by going to the View menu, Clip, and then choosing Clip Gain Info. And in this case, we'll also want to show the Clip Gain line. Now I can simply click on the clip gain fader in the bottom left corner of the track, and a small fader will appear, which I can use to adjust the gain for the clip. And one great thing about clip gain is that you can actually see the waveform adjust up and down to show you the result of the clip gain change. One great benefit of clip gain is that you're not actually changing the automation playlist for the track. If I switch the track view over to volume, you can see that the automation playlist hasn't been altered, which is quite helpful when you go to mix this session in the future. So those are three ways that you can set static automation in Pro Tools. 